Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So today we've got a used trailer, a used living quarters that we're going to walk you through. We do take trade-ins here. Uh, if you do have an extra trailer sitting around you want to turn it into some cash, we do buy trailers as well. Um, but what we'll do is, is typically when we get these used trailers in, we do a couple things to them. Um, first and foremost, when we bring them in, we want to give them a good bath. So we'll take them to the acid wash. Uh, this one here, we officially got an uh, official empty weight on the trailer as well. And then we'll check tires on it. Now this, this customer actually put a brand new set of tires shortly before they brought it to us. So we don't have to worry about that. And then we have two different shops that we put these trailers through if it has a living quarters. We have a chassis shop where this trailer will be realigned. Every single trailer, uh, used trailer gets realigned. They're no different than passenger vehicles. They can get out of alignment as well. And then we'll go through the trailer itself. I mean, from that standpoint, we look at everything safety. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll check brakes, make sure they don't need to be replaced. If there's some dividers that need to be adjusted, if there's pads that need to be replaced, anything as far as those items go, we'll go ahead and, and, and get the trailer ready for you to go use it. And then I'll go across the street to our RV shop and I'll have the living quarters gone completely through as well. We'll service appliances. Uh, we'll go ahead and, um, you know, do an LP check, do a battery check, you know, we'll, we'll check all those items. So, because this is not a brand new trailer, it is a used trailer, but we want it to be ready for you to go and use and enjoy uh, once you make your purchase. So this is a 2013 Hart three horse living quarters. Uh, again, I will never call a used trailer new by any means because it's not, it is used. Uh, this trailer has very minimal use to it, was extremely well cared for, and I'll show you as we walk through a couple things. Uh, this trailer was stored basically in a shop, majority of its life. Um, they ended up sending most of the horses with the trainer, uh, so they basically just took this to shows to stay out of. So I'll show you when we get to the stall area how I can tell this had such minimal use and, and probably hardly ever had a horse in the trailer itself. But let's take a look out of it because again, it's in really, really good shape. It's seven, six tall, it's eight foot wide, it's 30 foot on the floor. That official empty weight on it is 12,060 pounds. Uh, so again, not overly heavy by any means. But as we look here underneath the gooseneck, just because of the length of this trailer and the size of the living quarters itself, with it having a 15 foot short wall, they went ahead and put dual jacks on it. So these are electric over hydraulic. So there's a manual override on it. You've got a battery box underneath there. You've got your propane bottles and then your spare tire. Now, like I said, it's a 15 foot short wall. This is a trail boss living quarters. Out here on the outside, I mean, so you have a 15 foot living quarters with a four foot offset so look at that awning. That's probably an 18 foot awning right there. It's got the Aluma guard, so it's got the cover on it that's gonna help protect that uh, fabric um, from sunlight especially, from weather conditions. Again, this one was stored in, inside most of its life, so it really didn't see a whole lot of, uh, just basically just rot from just sitting outside, but that Aluma guard really helps those awning fabrics quite a bit um, from that standpoint. It really gives them a long life to, uh, as far as what you'll get out of them before you have to replace them. So this is a it is a very cool setup from the standpoint of you know if you're looking for multiple seating, multiple sleeping areas, uh, because this is a 15 foot. Now it's a non-slide trailer, um, but as you can see, I mean we've got a big sofa sleeper here that'll fold down into a bed. Obviously you have your your mattress up in the nose itself. It's all open. There's some cabinets up there. There's a mirror up there as well, which makes it feel like it's got more depth to it. When you incorporate those mirrors up in that, that neck, it makes it feel a lot bigger there. And then you've also got a dinette. This will fold down into a bed as well. Um, but you know, one thing we see is if, if customers definitely want a multiple seating sleeping areas down here in this main living quarters portion of it, a lot of people really want to incorporate a dinette and a sofa. The reason why is you can kind of lounge on your sofa, 
but if you're preparing meals and things like that, you can just sit at your dinette. You're not having to break down a table to put it up, you know, up and down when it comes time to eat. Um, so this is a really popular option on our trailers, and we try to incorporate a dinette and a sofa if we have the, the ability to do that in the size in the living quarters and today in our new inventory. But you know, I mean, as you can see, again, this trailer had very minimal use. Um, we didn't really have to do a whole lot of cleanup on this trailer when we brought it in. Again, very well cared for. They stayed up on their maintenance. Um, very, very nice trailer itself. And then if you get into the kitchen area, I mean, this is a massive kitchen area here. Uh, big, deep porcelain sink. You've got a two burner cooktop. So it does have the cover. So when you're not using it, you can go ahead and put the cover on and it works as some more, you know, counter space for you. There's a good amount of counter space here, uh, you know, compared to what we see on some of the smaller units itself. You got your hood vent, you got your microwave, and then you've got a 6-0 refrigerator and freezer. So again, really good size. Again, these, these items here, like this refrigerator, hot water heater, air conditioner, furnace, all those type of items, we try to go through and um, service them, you know, when they do come in when they are used. And then over here, we've got a flat screen TV. Again, more storage. There's a lot of storage in this trailer. I mean, big, massive storage underneath there, underneath the actual TV itself. It's kind of one thing we never kind of seem like we get enough of is storage on some of these trailers, but this one's got quite a bit of it. And then this is a really good size bathroom itself. I mean, when you get in here and you look at this bathroom in this vanity area here, there's a lot of counter space. So if you've got a lot of items that you're, you're carrying with you, you've got drawers for storage. You've actually got, you know, behind this vanity itself is storage up here in this medicine cabinet. You've got a radius shower with a skylight. I like the skylights because, again, it gives a little bit more natural lighting in here. It gives you a little bit more headroom. Uh, you know, if you're a taller individual. You've got a toilet. And then you have some additional storage, a double clothes rod behind that toilet there. So again, a lot of storage in this trailer. And this is a good sized bathroom. You know, we're, the worst thing I, I, I don't like a really small bathroom where your toilet's basically kind of right in the middle and you're gonna have to almost stand over it or hover over it to stand in front of the bathroom um, vanity there to get ready or anything like that. So really good sized bathroom. Again, really well laid out living quarters here. Again, if you're wanting to haul you know, maybe it's maybe it's some friends with you, maybe it's kids with you, anything like that. Again, you've got the multiple seating, multiple sleeping areas in that in that setup there. <clears throat> so, like I mentioned, we kind of talked about tires a little bit at the beginning. So, kind of circling back around to that. So, what we want to do is we want all the tires to match. We want them all to be the same size, the same make, same date codes. So we all, you know, it's a, it's a set of tires on the ground. Um, so we don't like mismatched. We'll look at tread as well. And if they're at a date, we'll replace them. So if these tires are older than five years of age based on the DOT code on the sidewall, we'll replace them. Um, so from that standpoint there, you know, this one here, they had, again, just put a brand new set of really good tires on here. These are 14 plies on here. And then they've got the aluminum rims on them. So it does dress up the trailer itself. We like aluminum wheels just from that standpoint. I mean, they're always gonna be able to look really good as long as you take care of them. And on this trailer here, you've got three bus windows, or uh, excuse me, three drop windows here on the tail side. Instead of bus windows, there is windows actually in the drops themselves. But as you can see, we can create a lot more airflow throughout this trailer by having the drops. You've got a load light above them there. So you do have some light coverage. So this has dual rear doors. Our right hand side door is wider than our left hand. This would technically be considered a 60-40 setup. Uh, it's a little deceiving because of that, 
that upright post there, that's solid. So it almost makes that left-hand door look a little bit smaller, but that is a fixed rear tack room. So that is where it is. You can't collapse that one down on this trailer here. But as you can see, they've got a rear ramp on it. On your left-hand tack door, I mean, you've got plenty of bridle hooks. You've got a brush tray for smaller items. You've got a three-tier saddle rack, some blanket bars in there, more bridle hooks. Those are all adjustable as well, so we can adjust those pads up and down. We can adjust those uh, blanket bars up and down. You can remove them. You could possibly add more to if you'd like. Now, as we get back in here to the stall area, I'm going to get the dividers open and out of the way. So typically on used trailers, especially when you're dealing with some wheel well on the inside of the trailer, it's really easy to tell how much use a trailer has had. So if I look at these, these kick mats, because usually what happens is a horse stands over here, especially when we get in these wheel wells, you know, their heel will actually rub on this rubber matting on the wall and the wheel well itself. And, you know, a lot of times we actually have to go in and replace that mat. But if you look at this trailer, if I look at the first stall, I don't see a single mark. And then as I get to stall two, the middle stall, you can see just a little bit of wear on the outside of that rubber. And then as you get to the back stall, you don't see anything on the wall. So, again, if they hauled horses in this trailer, they did not do much. I mean, this, this stall area is in phenomenal shape. I mean, the pads don't have any wear on them. You've got the stud divider at one, so you've got maybe some additional storage if you're not hauling three head. Um, but again, if you've got that one guy that needs to just be by himself or herself, you can put them in that first stall, have that stud divider there. Uh, this back one here actually does telescope. It's actually pretty interesting because, you know, this divider, it's extended right now. And as you can see, I mean, it's not really in the opening of this, but we try to keep these type of items from ever being in here. So they do telescope this back one. So it will slide and get completely out of the way. But, you know, you're all aluminum construction. So we have an aluminum floor here. Uh, hearts come standard with an insulated roof. That insulated roof does make a big difference. It, it will keep our stall, stall, stall area, excuse me, a lot cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. Uh, we see that a lot on our Cimarrons since we're a Cimarron dealer. They have the insulated roof on all of our uh, new Cimarrons, that's standard as well. And it does, it makes a big difference in temperature for your horses back here compared to those aluminum sheeted roofs. You've got a load light at the back as well. There's interior lights in there. Over here on the driver's side, there's those other drop windows. Since it's on head side, that's where you see the jail bars come into play there. But again, just big heavy duty framework around these. These are nice, heavy duty, you know, welded hinges. You know, they're gonna hold up over time. Now this one here, this one does not have an escape door on it. Uh, so we don't have that access into stall number one. But then you do have the three manger doors. So again, a lot more storage in there. There's some hooks at that front one. Again, a really well-equipped trailer. You know, maybe you want some uh, hay storage on here. We can go in and add a uh, aftermarket um, hay rack on here. Now this one is not equipped with an onboard generator. So you either have to take a portable, it's not pre-wired, we don't have the, the uh, uh, fuel tank on it yet. Um, so, you know, on this type of an instance here, you know, our parts department sells a nice Onan portable 4500 watt gen. That would power everything on this trailer since it's a 30 amp service with that one single AC on it. So again, a really, really well cared for used three horse living quarters. Again, it's a, it's a 2013 Hart, three horse living quarters, has a 15 foot short wall. It is a trail boss. Stock number on this trailer is 5U211139.
So give us a call. Again, we do take trade-ins. You got a trailer sitting around you want to turn in a cash, give us a call. We'll, we'd be interested in buying that. But if you want to visit about this trailer, maybe some other used living quarters that we have available, um, but also give our sales team a call and say, hey, this is what I'm looking for, and we'll keep our eyes out for it. Um, you know, these things go pretty fast, so don't hesitate. I mean, sometimes they, they, they already have a deposit on them before they even show up to our lot. So if you get a hold of our sales team, let them know what you're looking for. Let us know what your budget is. We'll keep an eye out for you. And if we get something in, we'll give you a call and let you know. So give us a shout at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.